Alright, what's up math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Sir Ash. And welcome to our new discussion for grade 7, quarter 1, week 1, which is the deepening discussion about sets, which is specifically about the union and intersection of sets. Today's objective after the lesson, you will be able to find the union and intersection of sets. So before we go to our proper discussion, here is a problem, a challenge problem for you. Okay, 50 students were polled about their after-school activities. All said that they will participate in one or more of three clubs. The Robotics Club, the Students' Council, and the Theaters Club. Question. How many students participate in the theater club only? Use the information in the table to explain your reasoning. Okay. Now, we have here the given data for the robotics club, the student council, the robotics club and theater club only, for the robotics club and student council only, for the student council and theater club only, and for the both three clubs, the... Robotics Club, the Students' Council, and the Theater Club. Okay, so these are the given information. Always remember that we only have 15 students. So for us to know how many students are there in the Theater Club only, now let us put our information to our Venn diagram. So as you can see here, we have the number of students for the three clubs. So in this diagram, there is the intersection of this one. This small region intersects the three sets. So we will put our number three in this given region. Okay. Now, also says here the student council and the theater club only. Student council and theater club only. So we will put a value here of six for our relationship. And then we also have here the robotics club and student council only. Robotics club and student council only. We will put eight. Now, let me also emphasize that when it says only, it means that it doesn't consider the relationship of the theater club. So therefore, we will just look at the region where the robotics club and the student council interact or intersected. Okay, now we go to the next, the robotics club and the theater club only. We have five, so robotics club and theater club only. We have five, okay. And it also says here that the whole student, that the whole student council has 22 members. So 22 members, this set. Now. Considering that we already have eight, three, and six for the twenty for the hope for the part of the set for student club, we will just count the remaining number in order for this whole circle to be twenty-two. So we have eight and three, that is eleven. Eleven plus six, that is seventeen. So how many more do we need in order for seventeen to become twenty-two? So we only have five. All right. However, that doesn't answer our problem because we are considering our theater club only. Now let's go here. Given also in our table. The robotics club members are also 22 students. So we have here, if this is the whole set for the robotics club, we have 8, 3, and 5. So 8 plus 3, that is 11. 11 plus 5, that is 16. How many more students does 16 need to become 22? So we only need 6. Okay. Now, having considered this information, we just need to total everything in this given Venn diagram to become 50 students. Alright. So we have 6 plus 8, that is 14. 14 plus 5. That is 19. 19 plus 3. That is 22. 22 plus 6. That is 28. 28 plus 5. And that is 33. So, in order for 33 to become 50, we only need how many? Oh, 17 students. Alright. Now, Alright, so we answered that given problem. Let's continue. Certain regions of the Venn diagram in the solve it shows the union and intersection of sets. So in that given problem, we have already applied the union and intersection of sets. Now, for you to learn more about that, the focus question are the union and intersection of sets. The union of two or more sets is the set that contains all the elements of the sets. So that is the union. While the intersection of two or more sets is the set of elements that are common to every set. So, the key element for intersection is that 
these are the elements that are common to every set while the union is all of the elements of the given set all right now for more example now in this diagram we have if you want to find the union of two sets you list the elements that are either in the sets or both sets an element is in the union if it belongs to at least one of the sets in the venn diagram below a union of b is shaded so as you can see here if this is set a and set b all of the shaded circle for a and all of the shaded circle for b that is the union of the sets all right so now let's have a problem here about union of sets in your left pocket you have a quarter a paper clip and a key in your right pocket you have a penny a quarter a pencil and a marble what is the set that represents the different items in your pocket so step one let's have a list first about our left pocket and those are quarter paper clip and the key for our right pocket we have the penny the quarter the pencil and the marble so for step two we write the union of the sets which represent the different items that are that are in your pocket so the left union of r or the left union of the right pocket is equal to the quarter the paper clip the key the penny the pencil and the marble so what is the technique here what you will do is you just write all the members or the elements from the left to the right or from the right to the left okay but here is the catch do not write the elements that are already there so it means that do not repeat elements of the same kind you just write it once so for example here we have a quarter in the left and a quarter in the right so therefore you just write one quarter for the union of the left and right pocket okay that's an example of the union of sets okay hope you got it math learners now here is another example write sets p and q below in roster form now roster form is also a, an alternative name for the listing method what is the p union of q hint roster form is the list of the elements of the set as what i've said earlier okay so it has here that p is the set of all x such that x is a whole number less than five while set q is the value of y such that y is an even natural number less than five so first let us list first the values of p so whole number less than five so those are zero one two three and four and for q even natural numbers less than five those are two and four so the question here is what is the p union of q so this is your p and this is your q so what you will do here is you just list all your p and list all your q into a given set one set but remember do not repeat the same elements so therefore our p union of q is equal to 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay it is just the same as your given p now here is a follow-up question what is true about the union of two sets if one set is a subset of the other we already know the meaning of the subset from our previous video so a subset is a set under a bigger set okay so if b is a subset of a then a union of b will contain the same elements as a so as you can see here q here is a subset of p because 2 and 4 is an element or 2 and 4 are elements inside our set p so therefore q here is a part of p which is also known as the subset so therefore if you get the union of these two sets you will just write the set of p same goes if you considered b and a all right now let's so now let's go to the next relationship an element is in the intersection if it belongs to all of the sets when you find the intersection of two sets list only the elements that are both in 
the sets. In the Venn diagram, A intersection of B is shaded. So, previously, the union is the set of A and the set of B. But if we talk about intersection, this is only the region where A and B intersected. Okay? So, in other words, those elements that are common in A and common in B are what we know as the intersection of the two sets. Now, we also have here the disjoint sets. Disjoint sets are sets that have no elements in common. The intersection of disjoint set is the empty set or the null set. So as you can see here, this is your set A and this is your set B. There are no intersection that happen because no elements are the same that can be in both sets. So if that's the case, there are no intersections, so our set here is an empty set or a null set. Okay? Remember that, students. Okay, now let's go to problem number two, all about intersection of sets. Set X is equal to all X such that X is a natural number less than 19, while set Y are all Y such that Y is an odd integer, and set Z is equal to z such that z is a multiple of 6. Question is, what is the intersection of z? So for you not to get confused, first you need to list first the given sets. So then at, let's go first for x, set x. Natural numbers less than 19. So what are natural numbers less than 19? That is from 1 up to 18. Now, for the multiples of 6, which is set Z, that is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to know the intersection of the two sets, you just need to find those numbers or elements that are both in X and Z. And what are those? These are the 6, the 12, and the 18. So, for our question, what is the intersection of X and Z? Our answer is 6, 12, and 18. Now, another question. What is Y intersection of Z? So, Y here is an odd integer. So, odd integers are those 1, 3, and so on and so forth. Multiples of 6 are this given. So, we show that 1. So, we have here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on and so forth. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, so on and so forth. Now, as you can see here, the multiples of 6 are always even numbers. While odd integers are those numbers that are not divisible by 2. So, question, are there a possibility that there are numbers that will be the same for odd numbers and multiples of 6? So, the answer is... It's a null set or an empty set because the two given set are disjoint sets. Alright, I hope you got that, my dear math learners. Now, let's go for a little further. Set A is equal to 2, 4, 6, and 8. Set B is equal to 0, 2, 5, 7, and 8. And set C are values of N such that N is an odd whole number. Okay, so what is the intersection of A and B? So, let's just look at this first. A here, 2, 4, 6, and 8. B here, 2, 5, 0, 2, 5, 7, and 8. So, what are the common numbers here? We have 2 and 8. So, the answer for letter A is 2 and 8. So, how about letter B? What is the intersection of A and C? So, A here is 2, 4, 6, and 8. C here are all odd whole numbers now as you can see a here 2 4 6 and 8 are even numbers and c are all odd numbers so therefore there is no possibility that they will have the same element so the answer for that is an empty set or a null set okay very good now for the final question what is c intersection of b so we have here c as an odd number odd whole number we have here set B as 0, 2, 5, 7, and 8. So as you can see in this given set, the only odd numbers here are 5 and 7. Therefore, the intersection for C and B are only 
5 and 7. Okay, I hope math learners you got that one right. So here are now some symbols to remember. This is for the subset, this is for the intersection, and this is for the union. So in this part, I will be giving you try this problems in order for you to try it yourselves in your homes whether you have understood our lesson for today okay and more of that in the next problem or in the next slide and here is the practice and problem solving exercises okay so if you think you have answered all of these questions and you think that you understood it Try to give your answers by commenting down in our discussion. It will be a really big help for us to discuss whether you have any confusions about intersections and union of sets. So I hope you have understand our lesson for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Sir Ash, and giving you the advice that it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you and God bless.